Hey folks, I'm Matt from Fidel Gastros and welcome back to another episode of, wait for the epic drum roll please, Tales from the Kitchen, Hack or Hype. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, let's cook or bake. Eh? Eh? Today's subject is the almighty Choco Chip Cookie. Butter versus coconut oil. So, I love chocolate chip cookies. I'm not much of a baker, more of an eater. I tend to consume my chocolate chip cookies. But I know what I like, and I've been a big believer that butter is better. But then all of a sudden, there's been a lot of amazing vegan bake shops that have been opening up in the city, and I dig it. And they don't use butter at all. In fact, they use coconut oil. So we're gonna test out butter versus coconut oil. The second experiment is baking temperature. 300 Fahrenheit versus 425 Fahrenheit. I was always under the impression when my mom made me cookies, it was at 300 to 325 Fahrenheit for about 12 to 14 minutes. Now this new wave of radicals, they're fast baking at 425. I thought it would burn the cookie, but we'll see. I'm not making the call on these cookies. We brought in a special guest judge, and she is royalty in the world of baking, Miss Anna Olson. I'm Anna Olson. I'm a cookbook author. I host the Oh Yum with Anna Olson YouTube channel. I've hosted cooking shows on television for years. I've been at this for a while. Uh, I'm a pastry chef, a cook, uh, but basically food is what I love. That and travel. I love that we're here today to get really serious about cookies. Chocolate chip cookies are something that are personal to everyone. People have very specific tastes, I've learned over the years. So this is going to be an interesting test because it's not until you have different styles side by side that you really know what you're in for. So I'm ready to be quite critical. At the same time, I'm fascinated as to the science behind the cookies. All right, enough talk. It's baking time. All right, so this is a generic cookie recipe I got from the internet. It's the Mrs. Fields cookie recipe. Love Mrs. Fields. Uh, and the only difference between, the only variable in the two experiments is the fat. So we're doing butter in this one, and then the coconut oil. Now, to be honest, I am more of uh, the butter person, not just because that's what I was raised on, but it's just what I'm familiar with. Um, so I'm actually more interested to know uh, what Anna thinks, being that she's a, you know, such a pro, such a master in the world of baking. Maybe there's little subtleties that I don't notice because I'm just, you know, I just eat cookies, that's it. So now we're gonna do the same recipe, but this time using coconut oil. All right, so we have four cookies on the tray, half using butter, the other half using coconut oil. They're gonna be baked at from room temperature in the oven. The only real variable is the different fats. All right, batch number two, same idea. We have half butter, half coconut oil, but this time we're gonna bake the cookies at 425 Fahrenheit. All right, cookies out of the oven in four different plates. I'm gonna bring in my guest judge, Anna Olson. Hi, Max. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. All right. Oh, you, uh, this is a beautiful sight. I'm not much of a baker, though. I'm mm -hmm. very nervous right now that I bake You're cookies. You're a cookie you. eater. I'm, as, I'm a, as opposed to a baker. I am not a baker at all. I was super nervous to cook for you because you are like the queen of baking, so. Well, the point is not to judge you, it's <laughs> to judge the cookies. So you are exempted from all of this. All right, good. But this is, we need to get really serious about cookies now. So there's four kinds of cookies. Same recipe? Same recipe. Okay. The only difference between the two is one was cooked with butter, mm -hmm. the other one was cooked with coconut oil and identical amounts. Okay. And then the other kind of variable is one batch of cookies was baked at 300 Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. so lower temp, 
other one was baked at 425, so a higher tech. That's a dramatic temperature difference. Totally different. Okay. Totally different. So on visual first, I like the shape of all of them. No, because I like a cookie, a chocolate chip cookie that's got a little rounding at the edge. Because if your fat's too soft, your butter, or you use coconut oil, or if you're using something else, if it's too soft and it spreads too quickly, you get those just those little wimpy, thin cookies uh, that are too, too flat. I kind of like those. So I would. Oh. So to get the wimpy cookie, you're saying I would need it to have melted the butter or soften it, or soften really, it. really okay. soft. So there was room. Both of them were at room temperature. At room temperature. Is that normal? Yeah. That's, I'm that's nervous. Standard. I'm freaking that's out. Standard. <laughs> now I think on a visual, we can tell that these are the higher temperature ones. Right. Just because they're they're darker. Yeah. What's interesting is they did not spread as much as the 300 degree cookies because, quite simply, at that high temp, everything set faster, right? So they didn't get a chance to move. Ooh, that's a good yeah. break. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good break. Yes. So I want a piece with a bit of the outside edge and the interior. Air Pro, I knew. It. See, mm -hmm. I knew this is when we said who, who was going to do this one. It also helps that you just made these, so the chips are still melted. Mm. Okay. A little less chewy. Yeah. I was gonna say, it was kind of a cleaner break. Mm -hmm. And these were both baked at the exact same time. Same time, same, same time. In fact, in the, the same oven at the same time. So clearly, the fat choice makes a difference. Chewiness to it. This melts in your mouth kind of up front. This melts in your mouth a little further back. To me, this has a more delectable chew. Visibly, though, I looked at this one, and mm -hmm. the chocolate chips are higher up the, the mm -hmm. cookie. You know what I mean? Like they've almost like yeah. risen to the top, whereas this one they've kind of set into the cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the deal? If I can make an educated guess, that's the coconut oil, that's the butter. Okay. Part of where you're thinking is this the chip placement? Yeah could actually be because of the different fats, because when you think about it, coconut oil is 100% fat. Butter is only 80% fat. So there are different things going on. When the butter is melting, it's gonna melt faster, so ingredients will change differently and set differently, where you could actually use the coconut oil, but lower, lower it by 20%. Look at this, all these facts we're all learning this science today. Of cookies. Well, who knew a you cookie? You want to tell me? Am, did I call it right? I'm not going to say it yet. Okay. All right. I'm not going to say so it yet. So, into the high temp cookie, which I have to say, Max, having been a cookie baker for so many years, mm -hmm. you know how every oven has a hot spot? Yeah. And there's always that one cookie that's overcooked? I know. That's my cookie. That's your cookie. I love You're cookies. You're like my mother. That are overcooked. Oh. So, I think I might be drawn to these. More. Let me guess, lasagna, you take the corner piece. Love it. See, I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Mmm. Now, the flavor on these cookies is completely different. Totally different. Because this is cooked in a higher temperature oven, the caramel notes mm -hmm. from the, the toasted fat and the sugars, this to me has more of a textbook chocolate chip cookie flavor. It's like chocolate chip cookie. Really? Up. Yeah. I was worried about the temperature. I thought That's it would a just hot oven. It is. Mm -hmm. I thought they would burn. But six, seven minutes. I mean, that's more of an encouragement to make chocolate chip cookies because the idea of making a cookie and then saying, <laughs> "I want it in my mouth now." <laughs> None of this chill it for twenty-four hours business. Okay, so this is cookie number four. I could tell the taste. I believe in the difference between the butter and the coconut oil more easily. I can't mm. pick up the difference as easy because these are both so caramelized mm. that it kind of levels out the taste of the fat. That's kind of interesting. So because these ones bake faster at a hotter temp, you're... the flavor profile is different. And I'm thinking if I have to identify which is coconut oil butter, I think that's the butter. So just to recap. Butter, butter. Butter, butter. Coconut, coconut, mm -hmm. and obviously we have the visuals. The visuals, so, and you already nailed that one. Yeah. Okay. All right, results are in. I've had four different cookies. You nailed it across the board. Oh, cool. Every That's, single one you got right. I have right. to say, I was nervous. I will agree with you. The first one, you could actually taste the coconut oil uh, versus the not coconut oil. 
And I attribute that to not the fat itself, but the low temperature. The low coffee. temperature. Yeah. The top two, mm -hmm. you couldn't taste the coconut oil. No, Nailed. no, I lost the coconut. And in fact, um, I'm gonna throw something out. Was it the chocolate chip rising? Has that made you say that, or no, what made you? No, it was the softness in the center of this cookie that had that textbook better butter character to it. You nailed it though. You are a pro. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised, but I don't think I would have been able to tell, at least not the top two. Yeah. Uh, so now the big question is, mm -hmm. which one did you like the best? That one. Same. Yeah, high temperature oven. Same. And butter. I'm a butter girl. Looking yeah, at I know. All four of these cookies are delicious. So because cookies are a matter of personal taste, if you like that super soft, mild flavor of a chocolate chip cookie that's more about the soft center, then go with the low temperature, right? And then I, I like the super crunch on the outside and the super soft inside. The contrast. The contrast. The con it's all about contrast yeah. in, in the world of cookies. All right, so Anna, we went through four cookies. You nailed it as far as what was what, but what was the one thing we learned today? That baking a cookie at 425 rocks it. So there you go. Who knew? Mm-hmm. I thought it would burn okay. the cookies. No such thing. And nope. uh, yeah, now I'm all set to go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she took her cookie and went off. <laughs> Guys, remember that time Anna Olsen liked my cookies? I was freaking out. And she was like, you didn't see this because we weren't shooting, but the cookies were just chilling to cool. And she was like doing one of those like teacher over the shoulder walk bys. I was like, oh man, she's judging already. Freaking out. Freaking out. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. Another episode of Tales of the Kitchen Hacker Hype featuring a chocolate chip cookie and Anna Olson. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Let me know if there's a hack or hype you want tested right here on Hacker Hype Tales of the Kitchen. It's not as epic on the way out. Bye. Okay, bye.